we are given an equation 3 raised to power m minus 2 raised to power m is equal to 65. So can you find the value of m? Before we proceed to solve it analytically, look at the graph of 3 raised to the power of m minus 2 raised to the power of m on the y-axis versus m on the x-axis. We can clearly see that this is an increasing function, which means the value of this function increases as we keep increasing the value of m. Now, if you draw a horizontal line at y equals 65 like this, we can see that both the graphs intersect at only one point. So this means there is only one real solution to our question. Okay, now to solve it algebraically, as a first step, in this power m, we will multiply and divide by 2 like this. Do the same for this m as well. Now we can also rewrite both of them as m over 2 times 2. Next, we will use a power rule where a raised to p times q is same as a raised to p whole raised to q. So here a is 3, p is m over 2, and q is 2. Therefore, we can rewrite this expression as 3 raised to m over 2 whole raised to 2. And similarly, this will be minus 2 raised to m over 2 whole raised to 2. Noise. Now, here comes the magic. Assume a variable x as this value, or 3 raised to m over 2. And then assume another variable, y, as this value, or 2 raised to m over 2. Therefore, this expression will thus become x square minus y square equals 65. But hey, using the difference of squares method, we know that this is the same as x plus y multiplied by x minus y, and that equals 65. Now you can see that we have a product of two numbers here, and therefore we will have to factorize 65 such that we can write it as a product of two numbers. Here's the key insight. 65 can be broken into 13 times 5, and that's exactly what we need. Let's go ahead with that. We assume that the first bracket, that is x plus y, is equal to 13, and the second bracket, that is x minus y, is equal to 5. This is a system of two equations with two variables which can be solved easily. First, we add both these equations. On the left side, x plus y plus x minus y becomes 2 times x, and on the right side, 13 plus 5 gives us 18. So 2 times x is equal to 18, which means x is equal to 9. Once we have x, we can plug it back into either equation. Let's use the first one. Now, since x is 9, therefore 9 plus y is 13. That means y must be 4. Now, the final trick is to remember what x and y actually were. We had x as 3 raised to power m over 2, and y as 2 raised to power m over 2. So now we know 3 raised to m over 2 is 9 and 2 raised to m over 2 is 4. That makes it pretty clear, right? 3 raised to m over 2 is 9 or 3 square. Equate both the bases to get m over 2 equals 2 or m equals 4. Let us verify the same. 3 raised to 4 is 81, and 2 raised to 4 is 16. So 81 minus 16 is 65. And that's it. Sometimes the journey can be more interesting to follow along than just knowing the result. So good!